Hi, it's Alaska Granny. With the summer growing season getting into full swing, we need to think about what are the ingredients we might want if we want to can, pickle, preserve, smoke foods. How can we preserve the foods to make them last longer, especially if they're ones that we grew ourselves or picked up from a farmer's market? Here's a list of ingredients that I stockpile because I want to make sure that I have the things I need so when it comes time to preserve the food, I don't have to worry about those things are not in stock. For example, the last few years it's been difficult to get things like vinegar. It's been very difficult to get canning jars. And so if you know ahead of time what types of foods you plan to preserve, make a list of all of the ingredients and the items that you need and don't wait until the day you need them and then you can't find them. Start picking them up today. The first ingredient is salt. Do you need canning and pickling salt? Make sure that you have the amount that you need. Don't use iodized salt when you're canning things. That can discolor the food that you're preserving. Study over your recipes and make sure you have the correct salt for the food that you plan to preserve. Get the vinegar that you need. Vinegar lasts forever. It's a forever food. You don't have to worry about stockpiling too much and then having it left over. Whether you use white vinegar or apple cider vinegar, make sure that you have enough so that you can preserve the foods that you need. When you're making a recipe, don't fiddle around and dilute the vinegar. You wanna make sure that you have the proper amount so you have the best results with the food that you're preserving. Another option is lemon juice. If you use lemon juice, make sure you have that on hand as well. How much sugar are you going to need? Do you plan to make jams and jellies? You'll want to have plenty of sugar for that. Don't wait till the last minute. The supply of sugar has been up and down just like the price for the last few years. You don't want to be caught off guard that it's a time you can't get sugar or the price has gone skyrocketing. So if you know you're going to need sugar, stock up on some of it now. Sugar is also a forever food. You're you don't have to worry about having too much. You just need to make sure that you store it in a cool, dark, dry place. You need to keep your sugar dry to make sure that it doesn't turn into a hard lump. So don't just put it on the shelf in a paper bag. Put away the larger amounts, the extra sugar you have in an airtight container. If you want to store sugar for the longest, you can put it into mylar bags and five gallon buckets, but don't use an oxygen absorber. Simply seal it up and store it away. What spices do you plan to use for your canning, pickling, preserving, smoking? Look at the spices that you need. I recently added an additional pickling spice combination, but then you need to also figure out, do you just need things like mustard seed, dill wheat, and don't forget you're gonna need garlic, so make sure that you're stocking up on all of those things that you need. To make your jellies and jams, you need not only the sugar, but you're going to need some pectin. So stock up when you see it. Did you know you can even take simple grape juice and turn that into grape jelly? It's good to have different options and ways that we can make things at the foods that we are able to get because maybe we can't get the full bounty of the harvest we want of the things that we normally make into jams and jellies. So have ideas in your head of what you can do if you can't get the things you want, what can you get so you can still make the food that you want? Do you ever use pickle crisp granules? Well, I do, and so I have a fresh supply that I even ordered just recently on Amazon. I wanna make sure that I have all the things that I need. If you can find canning jars and you need extra, stock up now. I have been able to find a few and they are a size that I like, so I went ahead and bought them. The prices are going up and down. It's been crazy the last few years and sometimes you can't even find them. I was able to pick up a 12 pack of wide mouth pint jars, which are one of the ones that I enjoy using the most. I think it was around $15. I found these at Walmart and you can also look at places like hardware stores and grocery stores, but be on the lookout and stock up on the things that you need. Canning jars don't have to just be for foods that you can or preserve. It can also just be for dry food storage. You can stock up on your dry beans, rice, and other ingredients and put those into a clean canning jar, put on the lid, and you can set it away in your pantry and it's going to last for years. 
If you have plenty of jars, make sure that you also have fresh lids. You want to make sure that you're using new lids when you're canning. You don't need to use a brand new lid when you're just sealing up dried foods like beans and rice, pasta or oatmeal, sugar even, but you need a tight-fitting, well-maintained lid that doesn't have any damage around the rim. Check over your tools. Make sure that you have the supplies that you need. Everything from a lid lifter to a funnel. Don't forget you need something to go around inside the jar to let all the bubbles out. They make even a little special spatula for that, but you don't have to have that. I have this old lid opener that I've had that was my grandma's. So it is very, very old and it's super handy and helpful. So look over your tools. Make sure you have the things that you need too. You don't need to replace these every year, but you need to make sure that you still have them. You can locate them. And if maybe they broke last year or got lost or you didn't have everything you need, this is the time to get it on your list and get it ready for this year's canning season. Stock up on the ingredients and supplies you need so that you can have a successful season of canning, preserving, pickling, smoking, and that you can have the foods that you have on hand, you can preserve them and make them last the longest. And the more prepared we are, the better off we're all gonna be. And the more things that you can do for yourself that you aren't relying on the grocery store, that's gonna go a long way toward helping you face any kind of a crisis that might come our way. Nobody knows what's coming, so be prepared to take care of yourself as much as possible. If you have any other suggestions on what we should have on hand, leave it in the comments so we can make sure it's on our list as well. I hope you'll like my video, share my video, and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.